Hello guys, welcome back again to my channel. Thank you so much for finding time once again. Karen Boni sana. If you are a new subscriber, can you make sure you subscribe, like, turn on notification, and make sure you give this video a thumbs up and welcome to the Viz family. If it is your first time watching me, my name is Ivy Atino. I deal with the Mtumba Bell supplying, opening, and if you are a beginner, you are in the right place because this is where we mentor you. You know the right bells, the right codes, and the new labels in the market. So thank you so much. And guys, can go and subscribe to ivy's pace and space it's all about mentorship daily vlogs beauty lifestyle um it is just another channel to just educate you more and also to be entertained and those people who have not opened their youtube channels please go ahead and open because it will be much profitable for you in the future it is an investment so make sure you open your channel today and hey if you do uh send a link i subscribe and watch and i'll be one of your viewers also thank you so much so today i want to take you through um i have been getting a lot of questions and maybe people want the advice uh we have people who are who want to deal specifically uh with uh baby shops they want to open baby shops so people have been asking me how much do you really need to open a baby shop so today i am here to also guide you through and to also tell you what to expect the right bills you know and also the budget that you can work around it so um i know i have been saying a lot quite a lot about uh how much profitable baby bills are i'm talking about baby bills and if you are dealing with um or if you want to deal with a baby shop make sure your age bracket range is from zero to around nine years they are very much profitable so today i want to take you through that and i hope that you get something out of it and also know that it is very much possible and i hope that you also uh, plan yourself towards it in terms of capital and also when you're ready at least you'll have information now the first thing is i usually tell you guys make sure you know your target market the age bracket you're targeting the uh, preg pregnant women or those who have already delivered you know that is what i just mean and also know the area um how much are they ranging in terms of buying things you you might be maybe opening bills for around 20 30k and they cannot maybe buy the pieces from maybe 300 to 400 those are the type of um, research or surveys you're supposed to take. After doing that, you'll already know what you need to open in that area. And also do a research on the uh, baby shops that are around. Uh, look for things that they don't have and be uh, that person who has those things. For example, I'm going to give you an example of, uh, I know you guys know it, Nila Baby Shop and, the, and Victoria Baby Shop. I think those are the two competing baby shops online and uh what i like about uh nila what i like more about nila baby shop they also mix mtumba inside so i usually tell you guys mtumba is much profitable in this aspect remember you have over like 300 or 250 pieces in a bell and maybe that bell you're you're buying it at around 10 15k so you see the pieces that you're getting and the amount you're buying you know they're at least not the same of which you're going to be uh, getting more profits from the pieces than uh the the buying of the bell so <clears throat> if you are starting um a baby shop make sure you also see how people are doing things around go online see how they are displaying their things so if you have maybe decided to open a baby shop these are the things you're supposed to plan yourself according to your opening of the shop make sure your display is on point and when i say display you'll need shelves so where I am, you'll need around um, 11,000 for maybe the uh, timber so that they can build the shelves around the uh, shop. And also it depends with um, the size of the shop also because we have different sizes. And uh, But 11,000, it can also do something. Then you'll have the chrome pipes for hanging. Chrome pipes ni kama hizi ni tunaingizanga curtains. They know how they install them. So you'll have chrome pipes. Uh, for displaying and also don't go for the mannequins it is quite expensive especially the kids mannequins they range from 4005k so if you if you are capable well and good but i don't feel it is important when you're starting you can go for the juakali ones which are around 350 or 400 then 
go for the hangers don't don't go for the plastic hangers because they're not durable and they're quite expensive go for the jokali hangers of which i know a dozen costs 200 which is 12 pieces so you need uh, like around um around 10 they can help you when you're starting then in in the pro in the process you're going to add more so let us go straight to the bells that you're supposed to take as um as you're starting the baby shop or you're opening the baby shop kindly note that a baby shop should have bells that range in that age bracket that i, I gave zero to around nine years it, it actually that age bracket has a lot of cash those people who don't know because i find they grow you know they grow fast so it is not like somebody who is 10 years at a you know at a 12 13 but this person who is zero to nine years this person is still growing so that those are the pieces that uh they they they, they move fast the age bracket there so the bells i expect you to have good things when you're opening the baby shop baby shop it is baby baby shop so you'll require baby bells i will go for children dresses children dresses is a must in a baby shop please don't miss out on that go and find the children dresses now this is what you'll do when you're opening the bell make sure you the the, the pieces that you are putting on your display are the cameras the cameras your display you know the cameras then the remaining one, make sure you also find a special place so that you can, uh, you know, you can maybe uh, give people uh, this is uh, this amount, this one is this amount, you know. And if you are a, a, a person who also goes to the open air market, the second or the third cameras, you can go and sell them at the open air market. We are only selling quality things at the baby shop. <clears throat> then I expect you to also get the boy shots. Boy shorts is something that you can, you know, it's something that it is very much sellable. And um, uh, the, the quality of the shorts from there, it is very, very good. So, obviously, when you get boy shorts, we, we, we expect you to get boy shirts or boy t-shirts. And it just depends also. And uh, also, when you move to the newborns, we expect you to get baby mix. We expect you to get uh, baby medium ramage. And note that there's a difference between children ramage and baby ramage. Baby ramage has more of the newborns. The children ramage, they have categorized it from the name children. It is a category of uh, different, different ages in that bin. So baby ramage, baby mix, baby blankets, um... What else am I forgetting? Baby rompers, my friend. It is also mixed. We have the heavy and we, ha we have the light. Um, What else am I missing? The baby pants. We have baby pants, which are very uh, fast moving. Um, The children hoodies, you know, have different varieties in your shop. And trust me, it is very much profitable if you start with bills. Uh, because if you decide to maybe uh, get some few of the new things, it is no problem. But you'll see if you get the bells you have many pieces and the shop is it becomes full faster then what you can mix uh, in that baby baby shop maybe get a few basins you know those things that um tumor doesn't have you get basins um you maybe you get um what else you get maybe the towels the soft towels um what else you maybe you get the um the bra pads those are the things that people expect in a baby shop so um those type of maybe new things that you're going to mix uh, just you can even get like four basins there don't put a lot because you just need it to be just complete that is how we want to see um a baby shop that is eye-catching that is how you're going to be different but please remember don't forget to do your survey in your area so that you can be unique don't copy the person next to you or the person around you we want you to be unique we want somebody to come to this shop and say uh she doesn't have what she has you know that is what we are looking for so for those people who are maybe they've already purchased the shop and they want to stock the belt so i can say approximately you can start with a hundred thousand shillings a hundred k 100k can start a, a, a serious baby shop 
trust me it is quite expensive than the adult uh, shop because the belts themselves and also the things that you're supposed to require to do there we need a lot of shells because it was a total mingi so around 100k you can start but if you have or if you already have a shop you already have uh the shelves you can even start with 60 or maybe 65 or 70 but also i usually say if you have uh maybe if you have other stocks maybe you can even start with one bill but if you are dealing with only babies or maybe uh, the name baby shop or maybe the newborns please you need to have around 100k if you don't have a shop and if you don't have the shelves so I hope I have educated you and please uh, let me just mention the approximate profit that you can get from a baby medium ramage or maybe the baby mix. The baby mix we have for 15 and the baby medium ramage right now I think we, we are remaining in one of for 17k. So um, the ones is people sell it at uh, we have for 100 shillings 50 bob it 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 um it depends where you're selling you cannot be in a shop and you're selling a 1c at 50 bob unless it has issues but uh, a normal price for once is it's 100 shillings rompers they range from 300 to 400 so when you are getting um when you're getting the pieces for rompers around 200 to 250 or 180 to 200 so and you're selling one piece at 300 or maybe the least piece you can sell from that um bell is 250 or 300 you are going to get a lot of cash so approximately from a baby uh, from sorry a, a baby rompers you can get around uh, if you remove the if you if you remove the rompers the capital for the rompers uh you you find you're remaining with around 10k or it depends also where you're selling because you have people who sell the rompers at maybe 600 or 700 so you'll be around let's get yourself from around 15k and the baby blankets also you sell according to the textures design and the sizes and uh the bell itself is 15k and also it has quality things and i have only canadian so if you are looking for uh things to maybe fill your shop uh, a baby shop please now you know the bells even if you're not going to get it from this i've already enlightened you so that you can go for the right bells and those people who really want the um, uh children's dresses please uh plan yourself to restock before november because they usually uh they are not easily found so plan yourself uh towards that thank you so much guys i hope i have uh, said something useful so that can help you i appreciate the time that you have been uh, watching me please do subscribe to um this mix and match if you haven't like our video and also go to the other channel ivy's space and space and show the same love here over there thank you so much keep on subscribing i'll see you on the next video bye guys